Today, I wanna to show you the Emporia Smart Home Energy Monitor. This is a great product if you wanna understand your energy usage better, or if you're doing energy upgrades, and wanna track their impact. It's also great for people that are going net zero by adding a solar system to their house. The device is fully controlled from a Wi-Fi app. Let me show you what information you have access to once you get one of these guys installed. Now, the one I'm showing you here is from my house, which has been installed for about three and a half years. At the home screen, you're gonna see each of the individual monitors that you set up, which correspond to an individual breaker in the panel. These things are gonna line up to things like your water heater, your furnace, your AC, or maybe some of your plug loads like your kitchen outlets. Now the energy usage can be tracked by a variety of different units. I have mine displayed right now as dollars, but you can come up into the menu and you can change that to a variety of different things. You can track by kilowatt hours, uh, by amps. One of the ones I really like, especially if you have an electric car, is you can check by gallons of gas. And so this will convert all of your measurements here into how many gallons of gas you've used over that time period. So you can look at the energy usage by a variety of different time spans. Uh, one of the really cool things about this device is running it on live mode. This is gonna tell you to the second what your house is doing power wise. So if you click into one of these meters like total usage, you're going to be able to see exactly how much power um, the house is using. And when you flick on a light switch or a furnace kicks on or something like that, you're gonna see this graph spike as the power starts being drawn. So that's if you're checking it live. One of the ones I really like is by checking by hour or by day. Um, you can check uh, and go back in time here to a particular hour of a particular day, and you can see how much power you use during that hour. The reason this is super important is because there's a, a lot of electric meters nowadays by the electric utilities like Pepco and BGE. They charge you a different electricity rate based off of what time of the day you're using power. So for Pepco in Maryland, they do an on-peak, an intermediate peak, and an off-peak rate. And sometimes the difference between off-peak and on-peak can be as much as 70%. So you can use this app to figure out how much you're using on peak and which device are using that power. You might find things like your water heater is kicking on during the day and charging you a higher rate than in the evening. You can check exactly what time and you can change this by hour um, to figure out which device are using those power during your on peak times and you can help reduce those loads. If you identify an area that you're using too much power during on peak times, maybe you can set something up to reduce that by like setting up an appliance that programs on only for certain times of the day or having temperature setbacks during the day for your heating or cooling equipment. Monitoring this can be especially important for a high end use device like an EV charger that is really gonna drive up a cost if it's being charged on peak hours. So that's something you're gonna be able to see with this app. And Emporia actually even makes an EV charger that can coordinate with the app to figure out when to turn on the car charger and when not to. You can also look at longer time ranges, uh, like a year. Now this is very important if you wanna see the difference between uh, energy upgrades or improvements you've done to your house. So one of the things I noticed in 2022 was that my water heater was my highest user of power in my house, using over a quarter all my power. So sometime in the middle of 23, I changed that water heater to a heat pump water heater that uses significantly less power. So if you look at my water heater usage in 2024, you'll see that it went down to only 9% of my use. It went from almost 2,000 kilowatts a year to down to almost 500. Um, so it is only using a quarter of the power that it used to, and I can see the value in that improvement because of this tracking that I've got over time. So one of the other areas that this device is really helpful is for people that have solar or are gonna go solar. One of the main criteria you need for going solar is to decide how much solar you need to get all the way to net zero. In this case, the app is tracking your total energy usage over the course of a year, and so you can see that number very simply. For me, that number was about 5,600 kilowatts. So I know that I need a solar system about 6,000 kilowatts to be able to totally offset my energy usage. If you did have a solar system for this house, you would see it in this list of items that's generating power. And instead of being a positive number, it would be a negative number because it'd be reducing your total energy usage. Okay, so let's show what's required to get this device installed. Once you unbox this kit here, uh, you're gonna get uh, two current meters. These are the main current meters for the house. They're gonna check and monitor everything coming into the house. Then you're gonna have these smaller meters. These are for each individual branch circuit. This particular kit has 16, which is usually enough for most homes, but honestly, a lot of houses get away with just eight. Um, really, we're focused on just getting the main heavy users of energy. Uh, then you're gonna have the uh, Emporia device itself. This is where all these devices connect. 
This collects all the data, syncs it up with the internet so that you can find it on your app later. So these current meters are all non-contact current meters. What that means is that you don't have to undo any electrical connections to get them to work. You just clip them around the wire. If the wire is running through that center there, it's gonna measure all the power that's going through that wire into your breaker and out to your devices. In many cases, you don't have enough current meters to track every single circuit in your house. What's most important is that you get your heaviest energy users. These are things like your furnace, air conditioner, water heater, clothes dryer, refrigerator, things like that. Minor loads like lighting or small plug loads, you don't have to worry about tracking them individually because one of the great things about this system is that you're tracking your entire energy use through these large meters and the app is going to subtract out anything that you do not track individually and that'll sum that together and that will be your lighting and small plug loads. So we've got the finished installed Emporia Energy Meter here at this panel. You've got the meter here at the bottom. Uh, it's connected to its Wi-Fi antenna that pops out of the box here. It's connected to power from one of these breakers here. And then you've got all the way at the top, you've got the current meters that are measuring the full current that's coming into this entire panel. And then you've got the individual meters on the right and the left that are measuring the power on each individual breaker here. If you're not sure what breaker controls what part of the house, you can use a circuit breaker finder device to make sure that you put the right meter on the right circuit. So that's it. When you're ready to start tracking and taking control of your energy usage, get one of these Emporia energy monitors. If you need help, get in touch with us at atlashomeenergy.com.